Hey there internet, how is it going? I hope you're having a fantastic day and today I am assembling this video because I'm actually talking about an app called Assembly. Since you're here for the review, let's go ahead and get right to it now. Hope you enjoy. For those of you that don't know what Assembly is, put simply, it is a design tool. By navigating through easily accessible menus and easy gestures, you can create a simple design in minutes or spend a little longer to make it more complex. The possibilities are endless. I even created the app's icon using the shapes given. You have many options right from the start, and it is super easy to get started either on a blank canvas or you can import one of your own pictures. But wait a second, you tell me. I don't have any good pictures to use in my designs. Oh, uh, yes you do. See that symbol on the far right? Yeah, tap it. That is actually Pixite's logo. And when you tap it, you are now entering Pixite's photo vault. Oh, you have free access to hundreds of royalty-free photos you can use in your graphics. How cool is that? These aren't clip art, oh no. They're from professional photographers, and some of them are just gorgeous, especially the nature ones. These collections are updated regularly too, so expect to see more in the coming weeks, months, centuries, uh, years, and decades, and millenniums, and so forth. Once you have your canvas set, it's all beginning to shape up. Uh, yeah. Or should I say, get in shape? Just add in some shapes here and there. Obviously, I'm not doing this to make it super professional here, but you get the point. And from here, we are entering the cool stuff. Be warned as we continue on. Just kidding. Head over to the Styles tab, and if you see no options, select a shape, because that's what it clearly tells you to do. Before we change anything else, though, I have to mention the Smart Grid system. Using the dot when you have a shape, you can easily both rotate and resize the shape. And what's super cool is when you rotate or move the shape, it'll automatically try and align it up. And rotation gives you the exact degree of rotation from 0 to 360 degrees, which is a full circle. Yay. And if you don't want the auto align, then you can easily just tap on that magnet in the center at the top of the screen. And you will be able to move it freely around wherever you like on the image. Sometimes we just want to make things 3D, but how do you do that? With a shadow, of course, so you can easily make any shape have a light or thick, big or small shadow, and what blows my mind is what the shape looks like when you move the shadow, and suddenly it looks 3D or three-dimensional. You can also change the color of the shadow if you don't like black. And guys, this is probably the coolest part of it, and I've shown it to many of my friends, and it is really cool, and they're like, whoa, and some of them are like, my eyes hurt at this. Anyway, as for other options on shapes, you can copy it, flip it, and move it to the front and back. And grouping objects together could not be easier. Simply tap and hold one shape, and then you'll have the option to select the other shapes at the same time. Oh, and I cannot forget the tutorial tab. In case you need a little inspiration and see what the app can do, there's many tutorials that teach you the ins and outs of what you can do. They're not intrusive at all, so feel free to do them even after this review because I tell you what you can do. But anyway, while these tutorials are great, you have to see the inspirations tab. If the community of assemblers can dream it, so can you. These are updated constantly, so there's almost always new stuff to see and inspire you to create even better things. However, there are some evident problems. First, let me tell the ones that are going to be solved soon because I've been told so by the developers. The shapes picker is awful when you have all the shapes. It's a lot of scrolling to get from one side to the other. That will be fixed. And there's no fonts. That should be hopefully coming soon. The complaints I have that has no fix currently in development, so developers, I hope you are listening, and I hope it's being considered since I recommended it, is the ability to add in more than one picture. 
This is a graphic editor, and to not have that ability is crazy. And sometimes, when a shape is small, it's really difficult to rotate it without having to resize the shape larger, rotate it, then make it small again. Overall though, the app is excellent and very stable, and now the tools are given. It's all up to you to create the design. The app costs $1.99 and includes almost everything except for some shape sets. Just one in-app purchase of $5.99 will unlock all the shapes both now and when future updates roll out, and of course you can purchase individual sets if you like. So that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. And this is the Tech Gen, a channel where I'll be talking a lot about technology and really anything that's going on in this generation that is really addicted to the internet. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want more app reviews like this one, let me, let me know down in the comments below. And if you want more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That really helps me out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I've said that a third time, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.